Greetings, Internets. Tinker2112 here at 2049 Eastern Daylight Time on Saturday, the 22nd of September, 2012. Let's play Okami. Happy autumn, everyone. At least everyone in the Northern Hemisphere. Happy spring, everyone in the Southern Hemisphere. The equinox was at 1049 Eastern. That was... that's... 1449 Universal Time or Greenwich Mean Time. Alright, I'm going to see if I can... Wait, how do I use one of these things? I forgot. Oh wait, I have to use a mermaid coin, probably. Stay still! Alright, I wasted one of them. But, oh wait, maybe I didn't. Alright, let's see how I would do this, because I actually know what I want to do this time. Oh, I guess there wasn't one in the village. Oh well, this will be at least closer than where I am. Yes, this time I'm actually going to go into that, I think it's called the Gale Sanctuary. Again, it's been a while since I've played. It's been two weeks. Uh, such as the consequence of doing a blind let's play. Well, actually, that didn't get me much closer. Oh well. So... There have been so many things that I've seen around here where I just think, where in retrospect I now think I want that wind power that would probably help me here. And I'm going in the wrong direction again. Yeah, so once I do get that wind power, I'll, uh, I may actually try to do some side quests. Which of course is generally more difficult Okay, where am I going? I need to... Okay. I'm very confused. Okay, I think I need to go south. Gale Shrine, that was what the place was called. Yeah, there are a lot of things that I... think I can use this wind power on. Starting with those stupid pile of leaves that for some reason will not yield to a bomb. I mean, I'd think if a bomb were blown up, most leaves, like actual leaves, if they didn't burn up, would at least be scattered. But no, these piles of leaves are impervious to, I'm guessing, anything but the wind power that I have really been wanting to get. And now that those stupid dogs are, or their orbs are finally back where they should be, I can get into the place. So yeah, I'm thinking I may try some side quest or at least treasure hunting stuff after that. Okay, this is the place I was looking for. Be a couple minutes longer to get here than it should have, but oh well. So I wonder what the condition is for activating a mermaid pool. Because I'm pretty sure I've seen some pools in places other than the ones that appeared on that map. Like, I thought I saw one in Kamiki Village. Alright, so... Hopefully in this session I can take on Crimson Something or Other. Also known as Crimson Helm, but I find Crimson Something or Other funnier, so that's what I'm going to call it. Or it. Another thing that will help me on a side quest I know there is to do is I have the power to make day into night, which means I can go looking for the guys on that hit list. Those hit lists, I should say. I have two of them now. <laughs> Press the berserk button. Yeah, we have their orbs. I 
Actually, now that you mention it. Please don't give me another task to do. But we have their MacGuffins. She is disappointed. Maybe the chicken. Or that. Did you murder them? No. Ah, uh, very, uh... Well, I would say confusion, but that was China, not Japan. You know I should probably turn down the fan here. So it might be audible. But I'm sorry if that is the case. So we didn't actually need the dogs at all, we just needed their orbs. No, really, I hadn't noticed that. <laughs> Jeez, that seems like a weird relationship. What, are the orbs gonna talk? Yeah, we're, we're the heroes, so we're supposed to go through the dungeons. Yes, whether to face Crimson Helm is our own choice. However, if we want to progress through the game, then there isn't much of a choice to be made. I mean, I didn't exactly see this, you know, visual happening. But, come on, I did know that Amaterasu would be the one to face Crimson Helm. How, how else could it be? It is not the role of the protagonist to sit by while a minor character does the, uh, you know, does the major fighting. Unless it's a case where the protagonist is just someone who, for some reason, doesn't fight. But in a JRPG, that is not the case. You've got to be kidding me. Will I ever get rid of this guy? Hey, hey, did you notice that that spirit was never really hurting you and it was always helping you? Its true form is right in front of your face. Monkey and Sake. <laughs> okay, well, I suppose there's only limited harm that he can do when he's sleeping. Because we have the MacGuffins, the black coupons. Earthbound spirit? He's an evil elemental? Or no, maybe maybe he got attacked by the evil elemental who uh who took away all of Pooh's non-essential body parts. Hmm, who's he talking to? I guess a Materatsu. Oh, 
No, really? Yeah, well, we're, we're here to fix that problem. This game shifts between being gender neut- between describing her as gender neutral and implying or stating that she's female. <laughs> Little Booker. <laughs> Okay, so Yatsu can stare into people's souls. And also God's soul. Yeah. You pity the fool? Wait a minute. Could he actually be serious about this spirit that's defiling his weapon? It's not just me helping him. Maybe he is the one who... Who pulled the sword out that wasn't supposed to be pulled out. You just noticed that. Took you long enough to notice them. <laughs> well, if it goes down as easily as that spider, then I don't have that much to fear. Ooh, that sounds gruesome. No, you are not going in there. No, you're actually standing in the presence of one right now. Soon. I find of your lack of faith disturbing. Okay, yep, I knew this was going to be a dungeon, and now I see that the map only goes a very limited way. Alright. I figured out how to do this before. Oh, three for one. And conveniently, they all float to the surface. Do bones float? I don't think bones float. Although bird bones would probably float, since they have air sacs in them. Okay, I have a feeling I'm going to have to use water spout here. Oh, wait, no, maybe not. I don't see anything up there. Alright, this looks like it could be a dead end, so I will see what's here first. Long, winding corridor with nothing in it. You should- oh, there's a devil gate here. I haven't seen one of these in a while. 